and then try to run and you be the judge how it performed well i am trying to run and do a very stabilization test so it feels funny though but you got to do what you got to do and holding it well now so before you watch full video if you want to save your time these are the measurements of my balanced 16 mm f1.4 with sony 6500 body now you can set to these specific measurements in the beginning only and then just try to balance the body but anyhow if you want to watch the whole video it would be great so let's continue so here you have it guys a6500 is now out and there is no protector the uv filter here and uh, the battery is inside as you can see with the memory card now we'll try to balance it right now it's zero the moment i keep it so it's around 855 grams 855 grams it's like approx 130 135 grams heavier than the payload it can handle but now i will try to balance it and uh, the mic is inbuilt in the next six so you might hear my voice which is not so good i will remove this because it has no use now now remember when you put in this part should be just above your battery plate like this is how it has to be and this l shaped the top portion this should face you now the first thing is i always try to put this axis the bottom axis to its extreme end so there you have it it's like that completely away from its body then i lock it down so now i like to put in the camera directly into the mount here before i start balancing the other axis so loosen up your this portion by this bottom screw latch and press it and it's a bit tricky but here we go almost the extreme edge then i lock this bottom screw it's locked in place now the next thing is as you can see it's front heavy so that's the reason i will put the camera to the extreme end like to the last portion i loosen up the bottom screw and i pull the camera completely back and then tighten up this bottom screw now you can see it's back heavy as you can see here it's back heavy so a little bit of adjustment in the front a little bit of adjustment from this side now it's going on this direction it's front heavy a little bit of back adjustment it's again back heavy I mean it's a time consuming process true but that is like only the first time It's back heavy I slightly move this portion a bit forward slightly move a bit forward here I tighten up the screw again It's going in this direction move it a bit here lock it back now it's kind of balanced but not in any independent axis like if i move it a bit forward it moves forward if i put it a bit into this axis it moves to back axis which can be balanced like balancing the axis here and there like using this axis to move it a bit on the top so it becomes back heavy but i like to keep it in like the lowest portion but it shouldn't touch here that's what need need to pay attention to lock it down here you go it magically balanced itself well no <laughs> in my experience it never actually balances it this is the maximum i have achieved this balance this is the maximum and the moment i shake it a bit more it imbalances but the thing that it can balance itself is a pretty great thing now i simply turn it on 
as you can see it's balanced this is the mode here I will do the follow focus I will do the vortex mode see the motor can actually balance it's lit it's really powerful man the motor can balance itself so it moves into this vortex mode and then I start moving the vortex mode see this thing like this is the go mode this will quickly switch into a direction in which I'm moving up down up down this direction this direction this direction this direction and your usual mode which rotates as you rotate your hand now instead of showing all of this here why not we put into the use this 16mm f1.4 into the actual world review by going outside on the road and try to shoot with this camera and this gimbal This is my first time vlogging actually. So this is actually my first time vlogging and I'm not trying to do any ninja walk or anything. I'm just literally moving like just simply walking and uh, I'm sure it's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, now it's there. I'm sure it's doing a pretty good job in trying to stabilize it and I am using an external microphone the Rode Video Mic Pro. And I will tell you a solution which I found to use it to mount it on the given screw mount. And this little adjustments that you see that is me trying to balance this camera like the angle which I'm trying to set and the testing is going on right now there are some vehicles here and there and I'm trying to see if it's stable enough it's balanced enough I'm not sure if I'm even in the frame because it's a 6500 no swivel screen whatsoever and this is me kind of doing this for the first time the vlogging on the go I have never done this but anything for the videos so keep on coming now you tell me like I'm literally working like this no ninja walk nothing now I'll try to smoothen down dampen my walk which is known as ninja walking ninja walking and I'm holding it with one hand no second hand I'm trying to balance it a little bit not too much but yeah a little bit of balancing trying to see if can it balance because I'm moving fast I'm moving slow and I will try to do a running test also I know how it's gonna turn out to be but vortex mode well yeah why not proof for those people who might ask me in the future that was I using actually using this a6500 camera this footage which you are looking at right now and the video which you will see being shot here so this is me shooting the camera as you can see the camera is okay so this is me shooting the camera as you can see the camera is here no doubt in there and this is me so right now I was walking I was simply walking it's completely dark here and 16mm 1.4 is showing its colors that it can balance it everything but the extreme test is when I try to run with this I kind of know the result but let me see if I can do it so here I turn around and here we go it myself and then try to run and you be the judge how it performed well I'm trying to run and do a very stabilization test so it feels funny though but you gotta do what you gotta do and holding it well 
so I'm pretty sure the stabilization was enough but it was not that it can balance it perfectly well and there must be some vibrations here and there and people are looking at me like I'm some crazy so I'll soon run down inside my building look who we have here I'm pretty sure the cat will be afraid with this setup. I mean, it looks like a weapon to be frank. And uh, in low lights, the focus shakes a bit here and there. I'll try to walk the stairs up. So, this is me walking the stairs. And I'm pretty sure I don't know how to walk to be frank. So, I don't know how it will look, but I just see the glimpses of Mike. So here you have it guys, a quick video, I didn't thought of anything, I just went out and started shooting just to see how it performs for any person, like I have not used this gimbal a lot yet, it's still inside my closet but I have to start using it the moment I, like today you saw it, I was a bit shy out there because vlogging is not my cup of tea for as of now so and uh, i was just trying to run this is not how you actually use a gimbal this is first thing which i want to tell you and i'll be making soon some videos on how to actually properly use a gimbal and i'm still sweating as you can see so very soon i'll be uploading more videos on how to better use the gimbal and please let me know if you didn't find anything good or if you found things useful and uh, like share subscribe see you again bye